Hey there gamers, probably Senpai here and I'm coming to you today to discuss the current Dream Snaps challenge which is the Earth and Air Challenge. Now, a big reason that I'm making today's video is that I've seen a lot of comments online where people are sort of struggling with this particular challenge. And one of the comments I see quite often regarding this challenge is that people are feeling a little bit lost on the air portion, considering that the challenge's mandatory requirements are green and brown. And of course, this leaves players curious about how they're supposed to incorporate air into this outfit challenge. Now, in today's video, I'm just gonna share with you a wide variety of ways you can do just that and different strategies for elevating your Dream Snap entry. Now, before we do that, it is incredibly important for me to really go over the exact wording of this challenge. So let's discuss exactly what it says. The challenge title is Earth and Air. It is an outfit challenge and it states, explore your elemental side with designs featuring earth and air. Now, I think where a lot of players are getting stuck is on the fact that this is an outfit challenge. So they feel like the outfit itself has to capture earth and air. But if you read the description here, it says explore your elemental side with designs featuring earth and air. These designs do not have to be exclusive to your outfit, but to the overall scene. So the photo itself. In fact, if we look at the example photo they gave us, the example does just that. The outfit itself embodies earth, but the overall design of the photo embodies both earth and air. Now, I want to be clear, I'm not saying that you can't make an outfit that embodies both earth and air. I'm just saying that you don't necessarily have to. The example photo is proof of that. So this example photo perfectly embodies the challenge itself. Now, this doesn't mean you need to take the photo in this exact spot. The spot where she's standing is in the meadow and you can see the clouds and the blue sky behind her. But there are actually countless ways for you to incorporate earth and air into this challenge. And I'm gonna be giving you some ideas today, so if you're struggling on that at all, then maybe you'll have some kind of idea you like here, or maybe something in this video will encourage you to improve upon the Dream Snap that you've already submitted, maybe make some changes. Again, I'm not saying you have to do this. If you're happy with your submission, then you should honestly stick with it. I just want to point out that when it comes to voting, finding ways to stand out from the crowd is what's going to help you secure a higher position within the Dream Snap ranks. So since the mandatory requirements for this outfit upload are going to be green and brown, most of the outfits, of course, are going to be leaning towards Earth. And I'm sure some of you are going to be saying, but Senpai, it is just an outfit challenge. It says in all caps right there, outfit challenge. But honestly, I cannot stress just how much the rest of the picture does matter here. For example, let's discuss our very first ever Dream Snaps challenge. This, of course, was the Dreamlight Ball outfit challenge. And to drive this point home, I have pulled up the first, the highest ranking dream light ball photo submission. Now, of course, her outfit is the central part of this submission, but that is not all that captured the hearts and minds of the players that were voting. She created and designed a beautiful and unique scene, utilizing the pumpkin carriage in the back to insinuate that she was on her way to the ball, using fairy godmother, utilizing the companion mode in the photo application to actually sit on the ground before fairy godmother, resting upon this beautiful leaf-strewn path, having these elegant flowers in the foreground and the way the cherry blossom trees here in the back and these flowers here match the door and the trim on her house. All of this attention to detail is what led this photo to a top rank position. What I'm trying to drive home here is that Every Dream Snaps challenge is a photo challenge, even the outfit challenges. So the Dreamlight Ball challenge had a theme, which was the Dreamlight Ball, of course. So your outfit has to fit that theme, but building a scene around your outfit that works within the theme is one of the best ways to make your submission stand out against the crowd. So going back to our example photo, like I said, this one does indeed embody earth and air. However, it would be 
difficult for a photo like this to stand out. And this is because it's highly likely that many players will take the example photo and use it as inspiration to create a similar scene so they feel safely within the metrics of the challenge. So let's discuss several different ways that you can incorporate air in your photo. We'll start with the same method that we see in the example photo here. And I'll show you some great places in your valley that you can use to capture an airy background. So of course the spot that we saw in that example photo is actually right over here in the peaceful meadow. Now in my meadow, it's a you know, it's not gonna work the same. I have a lot of fencing, you're not gonna get that same background. You know, I have these hay bales in the way. So yeah, but if your valley, I mean, and I could always like delete some of this stuff so that I can make a scene here if I wanted to. But yeah, right here, if you look at this area, you can definitely capture like the beautiful clouds, the blue sky, and you'll have a sense of air in the background of your photo with an earthy outfit. Now we already knew that was one location. Let's look at some others for you guys. So the next area we're gonna be taking a look at is actually in the top corner of the Forest of Valor. That is right back here. Sorry, my little Wally construction zone is taking up a lot of space here. But this little spot right here could also be a great photo opportunity to capture Earth and air. Another great spot to capture the essence of Earth and air would be in the corner of the Sunlit Plateau that overlooks the Peaceful Meadow and the Plaza. Now, please keep in mind, this is just one example of many different ways that you can incorporate air into your photo. I'm not saying you have to take your photo in these spots. In fact, we'll discuss a variety of other ways that you can incorporate air into your scene. And one of the first alternate methods we're going to be discussing in this video is actually going to be companions. So everyone knows the game has a wide variety of different sunbirds and ravens. So now let's say, you know, hypothetically, I had on an earthy outfit here. Posing and taking a photo with the raven, the sky blue raven, could indeed be used as a way to embody the air element of the challenge. And this is exactly why I'm encouraging you guys to find different ways to embody air in your earth and air challenge. Now, of course, one thing we discussed was using pets, but that's not your only option. Characters like Elsa here, if you just saw when her note came down, she had the swirl of wind around her. So you can utilize things like that in your background to elevate your photo and to capture the essence of air. So utilizing unique villager animations is just yet another way that you can capture both the elements of earth and air within this submission. Now, the next idea you could utilize would actually be weather. And right as I say that, the clouds just like dissipate. That's so funny. But look at this Mickey cloud behind me. This would be such a cool thing to utilize in an earth and air submission. That's just like perfectly timed. It showed up right when I was talking about it, almost as if the game is like, yes, this is one of the ways you can do just that. But it's not just the clouds that you can utilize in this challenge. I've had many players tell me that they like to take this submission in a storm or rainy weather to encapsulate the air. Or perhaps when it's raining, you may want to travel to the Frosted Heights biome. One of the interesting things with the Frosted heights biome is if you stand still, you will occasionally get a little gust of wind that flies across your screen. So if you time your photos just right, you can capture that. You can actually see the wind right now. There we go. You see this wind passing me by. Now it might be kind of hard to catch and it could possibly be even harder to take a photo of it in action, but it's just one of the many ways that you can capture air within this challenge. Another way to embody air within this challenge is by using some unique decor options, like the cloud that we got from Olaf. Using the clouds in the background in the sky is great, but if you can incorporate something that is native decor to our biomes, that is another amazing way to embody air. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the cloud. There are so many different things that you can use to embody air. You can even choose like blue things. Like I've seen, I've seen like, you know, these uh, lanterns getting talked about a good bit when it comes to embodying uh, air just because of the blue color, the teal. There's so many different ways and varieties that you can go about this. The reason I'm trying to share all these ideas with you is because a lot of players that I talked to stated, well, you know, my photo is going to capture earth, but I'm just not sure how to capture air. So I'm just going to go with the earth. They didn't give us any mandatory blues or anything. So I guess I just have to go with earth, but you have to remember the wording of the theme itself. So if your picture has a creative way of embodying both earth and air, I can guarantee you that more people are going to stop and think 
when they get to your Dream Snap entry. And if you can find a truly unique way to do this, you will stand out from the crowd and you will place well. Now, what if we combine furniture decor with pets? Well, that's what we're gonna do with the cozy companion home. So if we place the cozy companion home in a biome like right where we wanna take a photo, now keep in mind, this does not have to be part of the photo, but if you interact with it, and if we chose, let's say we chose two ravens and two sunbirds. Now, this is just another way that you can embody air and actually have like a whole lot of birds around you in this photo and even have one like in the foreground or background, but this is just yet another way that you can incorporate air into your photo. And now there is one last feature I wanna share with you guys that you can utilize to embody air in the photo. And for this one, we're actually gonna be traveling to realms. We're gonna go to the frozen realm. And of course, the reason that we are here is because of Gale, the wind spirit. This is just yet another creative way that you can embody air in this challenge. Now, please keep in mind, these are all very loose examples, and there are many more ways that you could go about this. The true point and purpose of this video today is to help people that were feeling a little bit lost on the air portion of this challenge. Now, like I said, it's not impossible to have an outfit that captures both earth and air. You can indeed make an outfit that can do both. It just might be difficult and you might not enjoy the outfit quite as much with the clashing of themes. Now again, I want to state that I am not saying you have to do any of these things. You can come up with your own totally creative way to embody both earth and air within the challenge. And I highly recommend attempting to embody both elements rather than just going with earth. If you found today's video helpful, do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. As a small full-time content creator, every like on my videos helps me tremendously. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Disney Dream at Valley and gaming content. If you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more tips and tricks related to every week's Dream Snaps challenges, just let me know in the comments. I have a lot of fun making videos like this, and I just like sharing all kinds of ideas in the hopes that it will help somebody that's feeling stuck or unsure about their current submission mission or Maybe, you know, you were looking for a way to tweak your submission and you got some cool ideas out of this. Either way, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for your time today and good luck in your Dream Snaps challenges.